All right, so we're at Home Depot now. What day is it? It's Saturday. I mean, no, it's Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> we procrastinated, maybe a little. And we're going to get everything. And we had some issues with the size of it because ours is going to end up being really small. But it's all right. Yeah. So we're going to go pick out our stuff. And yeah. Here's my dad. Okay, bye. And here you go. Here's all our stuff. Not very interesting. We're going for simple here. We saw Jake and Alex. Yeah. They're in that aisle. By that guy. They're hidden. Yeah. It's funny. Okay. Alright. Say bye. Bye, Miss Lowry. <laughs> Alright, so this is our stuff. This is my dad's shop. Or my grandpa's shop. Woo! So, Hannah's coming. And 3.30. Yeah. We're going to get started. Right. So, now we have... Um, yeah, here. Out. Now we have um, our board measured and marked. So, we've cut our rope. Um, where does it say how much it was? It says it was 50 feet. And we only needed 20. So we cut it in. We're using. Now we're gonna start. We're using torsion. It doesn't matter how big these are, you just have to be able to. Oh, okay. This what, yeah, this is what we're twisting the ropes with. Yeah. So, this is gonna be our dowels, and we're gonna cut them, I don't know, let's say like that big, so we can tie the ends of the rope around them and then twist, just twist these and we'll twist the rope. Yeah. So yeah. Making progress. <laughs> yeah. So we got safety guard. <laughs> and be it safe. Pencil. And they're even a big sky color. See? Golden and blue. How festive. So we've actually started making it now. We got all the pieces cut and we're trying to find a piece of plywood that my grandpa has that is going to be big enough. Is that one going to work? Yep. Yes. Awesome. So we're attempting to cut this in half diagonally. Hey! That looks pretty good. <laughs> Just so for the ropes at yeah. the end, yeah. So we got almost the first part done. Yeah. Yep. So we've got it pretty good setting up now. We're working on this piece, which is just going to stop the swing arm when it fires. So, yay! what it looks like right now. RPM. Wow. Now we're drilling holes to put the rope in and stuff. Alright, there's our hole. It does go all the way through. See? Hey! And that's Piper's gonna sand yeah. it. <laughs> gonna so when we cut it, it to twist the ropes, it won't hurt. Yeah. We've sanded kind of, but not really. I mean, we probably should. Yeah. yeah. So now my dad is looking for a cup that we can put our softball in. Hey, that's nice. Sure, Woohoo! Yeah. Pretty good. 
I'm mostly worried about like this oh, these yeah, edges. Because yeah. we had to cut them so diagonally. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so I can't have batteries died and we had to go get more, but what we've done is we took this cup and nailed it on. And you'd be proud of us because we had to do math. Um, we looked up the circumference of the softball so that we made sure it would fit and then we had to figure out the circumference of this cup. Okay, so now we have to drill one inch holes. <laughs> right there. Right where that little X is. The top one. And then the holes with in this one are going to match up together and that's where our rope is going to go. And then we're going to twist it and hope it works. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's do it. Man's here. Hi. Finally. What time is it? I don't know. It's like it 4. It is 4.05. And this is how it's going. It was going good until we kind of realized that we aren't going to be able to sit here and pull it back and let go and it'll shoot. So we're trying to think of a triggering mechanism that's going to work. Meh. <laughs> My dad's figuring out how to tie the rope. <laughs> Yeah, how you use measured everything. We'd be. <laughs> yeah. Who's this? That's going to be the handles that we use to twist the rope. Oh, nice. It's a stick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stick. It's actually called a dowel. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Say hi, Miss Lowney. Hi, Miss Lowney. <laughs> Everyone's gonna see me without makeup on and my hair not done. Well, I don't have makeup on. What? I don't have makeup on. Uh, okay. Then Piper's all cute. No, I didn't. Okay, this is our first test. We. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Be <laughs> the basket's gonna be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> that is nice. <laughs> it was pretty accurate though. Yeah, it's accurate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out. <laughs> your cup your cup is out. What are you gonna do to now? I have to find a new cup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got We definitely want with the distance. But we we're not gonna win distance at all. But we might win accuracy. I still have some fries if you guys want them. They're probably cold, but uh, we got hoagie roll. Um. That was so funny though. Oh. <laughs> Where's our balls? So. Oh god. So that's where the cut came out. Is it hard to pull back? Not really. It's just I'm not doing it one handed. Uh -uh. And my left hand too. Don't dry fire it. I'm not gonna... All right, we just broke another cup. <laughs> awesome. Oh my god. Every How do we freaking Well now we need a new cup Again? Cup. <laughs> cup. 
This is crazy. Oh, hey! Good idea, Dad. Look out, Hannah. Look out, Hannah. I'm looking out! Oh, well, that's not good. Because it's too thin? Ugh. Stupid. I thought metal. <laughs> What? 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 <laughs> it. hey, it's like they all went like straight through it. It's, it's a screw. Off. Screw. Oh, right. Is it different? I know. I'm sorry. Get it right. I'm sorry. Just kidding. I'm just. Oh, God. Oh, find your freaking cup again. Gosh. There's gotta be one in here somewhere. Trying out the new triggering system. I just pulled really freaking hard. <laughs> hey, that might have even gone 12 feet. <laughs> Measure it. Well, it rolled. I don't know where it hit. Is it showing the snow? I hit right here. <laughs> that kind of looks like it. Here, look out, Hannah. Here, I'll go from this side. Yeah, okay, I'm And it's probably not going to even go this far because it's not a softball and softballs are heavier. What? Softballs are heavier so it's not going to go as far as these ones are. That's, that's very true. <sighs> oh hey! That's pretty good! <laughs> that was, that was good. Well, the trigger thing works. Yep. Yeah, you got enough rope on it, it's not even that hard to pull. You guys got to do it, so you know you can do it. Yeah, try it again. It. Try it again. <laughs> yeah, see that one's not as cool. Do the, do the tennis ball. So you pull it. I think it, it kind of gets like wedged back, in there. And you pull. You, you can step around with your foot if you need to. And then put that little wooden thing. Oh, I wasn't even recording. Wow. There we go. There's a loop on the end of the rope. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty accurate. Accurate, okay. Now, can we, do you have like a hoop or something? We could test the accuracy with? Where's the tennis ball? <laughs> you lost it. You lost the ball. So we changed the where it's, we're trying to hit, and it's that box over there. And Piper, you can step on this part if it makes it easier. There you go. That's a little easier. It's just so weird. No, they're weird. not exactly lined up. Yeah. Okay, lift it up a little. Oh! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it needs to go that way. Alright, alright, go. I didn't want to launch it. Okay, I think for launch day you should do it because you're the best at it. I am? Yeah. Right. Oh, oh no, that was close. That was really close. Or in my room, in my house. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> and we're decorating it for our theme. And our theme is stop. <laughs> our theme is big guy. <laughs> we're painting it blue and gold and stuff. Woohoo! Oh, pirate. <laughs> 
<laughs> Too interesting. Alright, hey Miss Lonnie, it's Liz. Um, I'm going to be answering the questions to go along with the video you just watched. Um, unfortunately, obviously, none of my other groupmates are here because it's Thursday night and we procrastinated a lot. Um, the question, um, question number one is describe the process and I'm hoping that the videos that you saw before this one are going to be good enough. Um, I kind of vlogged it, I guess. Um, and the second question, describe the process you used to create the function that models your projectile's path. Piper actually did that today after school, and she um, is going to email it to me, hopefully, and I hope it works. And if it does, you'll see it right now. Um, hopefully, that's what happened. <laughs> um, if she doesn't get it to me, I guess I can have her write it out, and it'll go along with this video, and she'll have it written. But... I'm going to kind of, I got other people's answers for this, and we all kind of agreed on all the questions, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, number three, how far did your projectile travel horizontally? The farthest we got it to go was 22 feet and 6 inches. Um, obviously, this didn't happen when we were actually <laughs> doing it in class, but that's how far it was when I was outside in my backyard. Um, how long was your projectile in the air? 1.46 seconds. Yeah. Um, how long did it take your projectile to reach its maximum height? 0.49 seconds. Um, alright, sorry about that. I had a camera issue. Um, so I'm just going to start over. How did undertaking this project improve your understanding of projectile motion? Um, for me, it's because I didn't know you needed three points to graph, uh, like a parabola. And so, knowing that, like, thinking of it as a catapult instead of just, like, a curved line is a lot easier because it starts, it ends, and it gets to a highest point. And then Hannah just sent me that it helped her by understanding how much force it takes to propel something, and it's actually a lot more than you think. So that's what Hannah said. Um, how did you feel about this project when it was first assigned? All of us said that we were just kind of like, oh. And... I guess it's because we're like girls and we don't really know what we're doing with stuff like that. And I've never done it, Hannah's never done it, and Piper's never done it. And so we're just kind of like, okay, I guess we can try our best, but we're not going to expect very much. And so we're just kind of dreading it, and we kept putting it off, and we kept putting it off, and it didn't get done till Sunday, which was almost five days ago. And I guess we were just kind of like, alright, I guess we can do it because we really have to kind of thing. But now that it's concluded, um, we all kind of feel like, whew, like relieved, and we did a pretty good job, and we're really proud of it, and it was actually kind of fun. We had a lot of laughs, as you can see in the videos before. Um, I guess we just kind of dreaded it at first, but now that we've actually concluded it and produced something that was pretty notable, is that the word I'm looking for? Um... <laughs> Like, something that we're proud of, and that something people can, something that other people can see that we did, and it was really awesome. Um, and the last one, what would you have done differently? Uh, started earlier. We all agreed on this one. Um, pa um, Pat, who's Hannah's dad, had agreed to help us on the weekend before, so like that Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we were going to get a gonna get the um, materials on Friday and then build it Saturday and test it and make modifications on Sunday. But then Hannah's parents had to go to Seattle and drive there to pick up some cousin or something and they ended up getting stuck on one of the passes because there was a wreck and there was a lot of snow and they couldn't get over. And so that Sunday, thank God my dad was in town because he travels a lot for his job, and I'm just so happy he was in town to help us, and he agreed to, um, we all went to Hannah's and thought of the design and our theme and everything, and Hannah actually had to stay with her siblings because there was no one there to watch them, and so my dad picked up me and Piper, and we got started on it, as you saw, and then once Hannah's grandmother got off work, she went and watched the kids, and my mom picked up Hannah and brought her, and so... 
I guess if we had started earlier, we wouldn't have had all of that drama and people running everywhere to go get stuff that we'd forgotten and blah, 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 blah. It would have made this a lot easier. So that's what we would have done differently. Um, not procrastinating. So I guess that teaches me something that I'm not going to procrastinate on, like, my senior project and stuff. So, yeah. Um, so I guess thanks for making math fun. And we're really going to miss you when we're gone. Like, I haven't had an A in math since sixth grade. And I really like that you keep it outside the box and stuff. You know, keep it interesting and think of problems and test questions that we actually relate to other than just using the book ones. So, I thought you were an awesome teacher and you weren't doing a crappy job at all. So, thanks for doing this. We had a lot of fun. It brought Hannah and Piper and I a lot closer. And we'll miss you when you come. Bye.